And then you, then you ask yourself as an actor, and, and my teacher had something, he, it's, he did not invent this. Um, Stanislavski didn't even invent it, <laughs> okay? We're all kind of riffing, unless we're doing kabuki or we're doing, you know, movement-based Laban theater, we're all kind of riffing on objectives and actions in some way. So his language, which, was, which I really liked because it's easy to remember, is the four Ws. Who am I? Where am I? Who's the other person? What do I want? Who am I? Where am I? Who's the other person? What do I want? Four questions. Answer them. And I add to it, and what's the obstacle to getting what you want? That's very important. What's preventing you from getting what you want? Because if you don't have that, then the scene is, is over. Can I have the keys to the car? Yes. Done. And scene. Right? There has to be an obstacle. I, 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 I'm an alcoholic, and I'm drunk right now asking my wife for the keys. Suddenly, there's obstacle, right? Um, so who am I, where am I, who's the other person, what do I want? So you, you uh, have some of those questions answered already because of your work done as the director of the scene. All right, so that's, but now I'm going to assume you guys already are playing the land of understanding that. But I often will realize I haven't done that basic work. So I'm so sophisticated now, I'll just forget, oh my gosh, what do I want in the scene? Also, if you, let's say you're at an audition and you, they love what you did, but they're like, you know, I think you're ready for this, this you're much uh, right, more right for this other character, which also, you know, you can't call your acting coach right then. Let's say you have 15 minutes. So you need to be able to do your script analysis really fast. Who am I? Where am I? Who's the other person? What do I want? What's the most important questions you, what do you think that, um, let's say you just got to make uh, two choices out of those four. What do you think the most important choices are? Okay. Who am I and where am I? Okay. What do I want? Okay. Who am I and what's my obstacle? Okay. All right. So I, and I, I, like, I like the what do I want. Here's what I think is the most important one. Oh, go ahead. Of the last two. Like, which, are, which remind me. Um, well, what do I want and the, the obstacles? The last right. Two. Okay. So here's what I think that no one said. Who's the other person? Who's the other person is the hottest friggin' choice I can make? Because I'm not going to have time to do a lot of like, you know, let's give him a limp. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't have a lot of time to work on the limp or the accent. But if I choose who am I talking to, get, it's going to give me so many ideas, including what do I want. If I decide the other person is my, my mother at a certain time in our, our lives, now she's just my little mother. I just want to stay alive. That's who she is now. But like, she was my mother when I was 20, you know? Or my boyfriend who, who left me. Or my boyfriend who wouldn't leave me or my, you know, the who the other person is, is such a hot choice. Very often, especially in TV, you're going to probably play something fairly close to who you are. You're not going to be asked to play Richard III so much on CSI. Um, or Two and a Half Men. Well, maybe. But, um, but uh, the other, choosing who the other person does so many things. One is it makes it so specific. It makes something happen to you without having to work on it. Suddenly you're in want. And then maybe, oh, geez, I want love. Hello. That's almost every scene in some way. So anyway, so that's how I was trained. And if that doesn't work for you, don't use it. But I'm just going to offer you what I found useful. And I think that who, who you're talking to is so important because it's, it's about getting. It's about outflow. It's not about me and here I am presenting myself to you. It's what am I looking for? And that's going to help you on your audition, too. It's specifically, it's so important on the audition. Um, I, I'm going to come go away from and come back to certain points and and we're going to I'll finish do some more lecture now and then what, after we do the, do the auditions we'll have some more lecture and Q&A cuz I will have forgotten things and things will have come up for you but also um you know all acting um I'm not the first to say it uh is a sport um but especially for me auditioning it's one thing we are, they always say oh I was so good in the car you know god i was great and when i was putting my makeup i was so good in the room i blew it right it's and it's sort of like um and and or testing at the network right suddenly you've gone through the pre-read you've gone to the audition and then you got the call back and then you got the read for the studio and then you go to the network and they go here here's your contract you'll be making fifteen thousand dollars a week if you get the part just sign here is your billing and all that okay now go wait over there and here's the other people you're going to be auditioning with who will also be getting that money or maybe more uh, if you get the thing now, go in there and just forget everything and just relax and have fun. <laughs> just have some fun with it. Walking in and wondering if you're going to leave a pauper in a dead or 
$15,000 a week, $20,000, $50,000. If you're a woman, it's $15,000, $20,000. If you're a man, it's double that, right? So, <laughs> um, so in that way, it's more or less like the Olympics, right? When you see the Olympics and you see the divers, you know, they've done, you know they can do the dive. They've done the dive. They did the dive that day. But can they do it at the Olympics with the eyes of the world watching when they're going to get the gold? And that's a different animal. It's more like a sport. It's, just, it's, it's not just your acting training anymore. It's, it's training to be able to perform your art under these conditions. And that's what I'm hoping to give you some tools for today rather than just basic acting stuff because I'm, I'm kind of assuming and hoping that you know that. <laughs>